This tutorial will show you how to upload your CS1033 assignment using FileZilla on the Mac. So the first thing you'll want to do is go into your web browser, go to Google and search for FileZilla. The first search result should be the result we want, so we'll click on this link and then click on the nice green download button and it will download. Now I've actually already downloaded this, so I'm going to go into Finder, go to my Downloads folder, and here I've got FileZilla downloaded as a .tar.bz2 file. So to extract it, I'll just double click on this file, and now we have it extracted. Now to actually install it, I will go up to Edit, select Copy FileZilla, and then I'll select Go, and we'll select the Applications folder, and then finally we'll just say Edit, Paste Item. And now if we scroll down, we see that we have it installed in our Applications folder. Now when you first double click on FileZilla, it may tell you that it cannot be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. If that's the case, click on OK. And in the Applications folder here, scroll down and double click on System Preferences. Now select Security and Privacy and just click the lock at the bottom to make changes. It's going to ask you for your password for your Mac, so we'll enter that. And now we need to say allow apps downloaded from anywhere. And we'll just click on allow from anywhere, click the lock again, and we can close this window. So we'll scroll back up in the applications list, double click on FileZilla, and it's going to ask if we're sure if we want to open the application. So click on open, and FileZilla will load. Now that we have FileZilla running, the first thing we want to do is create a bookmark for the server so that no matter how many times we need to connect to it, it will be very quick and easy. So to create a bookmark, you can either click the Site Manager button here on the left side of the toolbar or select File, Site Manager. Next we'll click on New Site and we'll name it CS1033 and then in the Host field, enter publish.gall csd.uwo.ca. In the port field, we'll enter port 27, which will work whether you are on or off campus. For the protocol, select SFTP. Make sure you're selecting SFTP and not FTP. And then for the logon type, select ask for password. Now it's not going to let you type anything here in the password field, so don't worry about that. For the user field, you'll enter your UWO username. That's the first part of your UWO email address before the at sign. In this case, my username is CS1033user. The last thing we want to do is select the advanced tab. Now I'll explain what we're doing here in a moment, but for now, just click the browse button beside default local directory. In the dialog that appears, select your desktop and click on Choose. Finally, click OK. From now on, when you want to connect to the server, all you have to do is go up to File, Site Manager, and then just simply double click on this CS1033 entry that we've created. Now, it's going to ask you for your password. This is not your UWO password. Instead, you should have received this password by email near the beginning of the term. The password is case sensitive, so uppercase and lowercase matter. If you forget your password or you lost the email that you received, see the video on troubleshooting your SFTP connection for details on how to retrieve it. So after typing your password, click OK and we should be connected. And you can see here that it says directory listing successful, so that means we connected successfully. If that didn't happen, 99.99% of the time, you're either typing your password incorrectly, or you might have messed up one of the steps we completed in this video. So make sure that you go back in this video and, and ensure that you followed all the steps properly. Now that I'm connected, on the left side, I see my desktop on my computer, and on the right side, we have my home directory on the server. Remember that we set the default local directory to be the desktop, which means that every time I connect to the server, on the left side, it'll bring up my desktop on my Mac, and again, on the right side, will be the server. On my desktop, I have a folder assigned to. In that folder, I have a file hello.txt, and let's say that I want to upload the assigned to folder along with this hello.txt file to the server. So to do so, I simply take this assigned to folder, drag it from the left side, and drop it onto the right side. And now it's been uploaded to the server. If we now go to a web browser, your web space is available at http colon slash slash publish dot gall dot csd dot uwo dot ca slash whatever your username is. So in this case I'm CS1033 user. So I'll refresh the page and we can see the assigned to folder that we uploaded. If we click into there we see the hello.txt file that I uploaded. 
Now, if you accidentally get lost on the server, let's say that I click on this slash directory, the root directory, and I want to get back to my home directory, the quickest way to do that is simply to disconnect and reconnect. So I'll go up to the server menu, select disconnect, and then I will once again select file site manager, and I'll reconnect by double clicking on CS1033. When you connect to the server, you're automatically put back into your home directory. So again, if you get lost, just disconnect and reconnect. Okay, I hope that helps you submit your CS1033 assignments on the Mac using FileZilla. Good luck!